we are going to get the ball rolling. And basically I've been driving around with stock mode for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to green. And green is stage one. And right about now is gonna be my initial reactions. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that is straight up my initial reactions, uh, my usual um, throttle input. And you can see that uh, the, the pedal is already sensitive. Um, so that's stage one. I'm gonna go directly into stage two, which is gonna be the red and orange LED. Green light. Stage two. Stage two is, is not, as, um, not as dramatic as the stage one because uh, my usual pedal input has been adjusted mentally, so I know how to uh, kind of um, apply enough or uh, apply adjusted pressure to the throttle input. And as of right now, I'm gonna go directly to stage three, which is the all out red color. And so far I like how the setup is. It was pretty much basic, uh, easy, quick. I routed everything under the steering wheel through the um, through the channels underneath, and then basically ended up in the left side cubby hole. And I like it because it's discreet, and also basically I could go ahead and just set it and forget it. This is going to be my stage three response. So that was stage three. Definitely responsive. Uh, I usually find it to be based on the patterns uh, I usually find it more responsive or uh, less surpri more surprising when I get from a stoplight so yeah definitely uh, uh, stage three is This is great. stopped in another stop sign I'm gonna go ahead and just increase the car one two and three let that car go so this is race mode in stage three and also the the max sensitivity here we go sure uh, this product works I don't even think it's like a mental thing right now uh, definitely increases the, uh, the pedal response highly impressed and I don't know I feel like you know I feel like all these tiny mods step one step at a time really does make you uh, like the car more and more every day 
my suggestion is to go ahead and not throw or not tune your car all the way to like a stage two, you know, or even stage three. Um, I would say I would recommend doing it gradually. So that way you really do appreciate each and every mod that you do. So up next, I do have the uh, JB4 lined up with Burger Motorsports as well. And I'm gonna go back on the highway. This is uh, this is this is sport mode, race mode. time you're gonna get used to the sensitivity and you're gonna adjust your throttle input but um, as of right now uh, everything is new so all this all this change is making it feel like it's a faster car but in reality I know it's not an increase in horsepower or torque it's just um, again um, the BMS working is magic gonna go ahead and just do one last pull on the highway um, race mode um, everything maxed out I'm gonna be a mess pedal tuner uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put everything back and close it up and I'm gonna leave it at, at that for now uh, maybe I'll just uh, return the sensitivity to the neutral and leave it in stage 3 I think the most dramatic would be the stage one immediately after you start using it and also you think it's going to be a gradual increase but stage three is really dramatic as well. Um, and you guys are looking at it um, deciding between the DTE, Remus Responder and the BMS. I can't really go ahead and tell you or recommend which one to get. I, I, I had the DTE in the Mark VI. I remember me feeling the same way, but the Mark VI is like a do a pull. But again, this feels like it definitely feels like it's a it's a whole new car. Uh, it feels like I have much much more power, but yeah, I know it's not winter tires. A little bit of understeer. But yeah, this is this is great. I highly recommend it. Uh, just go ahead and, and get one. I wasn't sponsored or anything like that, so don't worry about it. This is a genuine reaction, genuine review video. Uh, video. But going back to whether or not I recommend the DTE, the Remus Responder, or the BMS, I think they they probably work the same. Uh, don't uh, don't quote me because I'm not an expert at anything like that. Um, uh, maybe take a look at the mapping, throttle mapping, and all the graphs that, that they offer. But um, I went ahead and just got the cheaper model, the cheaper unit, and I'm happy with it. All right, guys. I just want to follow up or conclude the video, give you guys a slight tour of how everything is um, this is how everything is set up excuse the uh, dirty weather mats but as you remember from the previous video I had everything uh, plugged in there right behind the pedal had every everything routed up over here under the steering column and I have everything stored here and as you can tell it is set to stage 3 
neutral sensitivity, right? And in it, I have it stored with my uh, Paramagic Pro with the dash camera and all that. Um, if I don't use it, basically I close the, uh, the cubby. If I do decide to use it, it's kind of take it out, flip it over, and from here you could go ahead and do everything upside down, I guess. This is the mode selector where you go ahead and do stock, one, two, and stage three. Sensitivity, increase, decrease. After I'm done, I put everything back. That's it. So I really like the Mark 7 when they have this. The Mark 6 had it too, but it didn't come stock from factory. But this kind of cleans up the whole interior quite a bit. And overall, um, highly recommend this BMS product. Um, when the weather gets warmer and I'm out of winter tires, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the JB4 and review that. But thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.